Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. Today, I'm gonna do a quick sneaker review detail on a pair of shoes from Adidas, collaboration with Pharrell Williams, the NMD S1 Riot, and as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my three different looks I create to go with the shoe. Let's go. Often, I always really exciting about new design or new silhouette that released from Adidas, but this one, I just have a mixed feeling about this because uh, I think the shoes is kind of overbuilt. The shoes are built like an armory, a cyber truck. I don't think the shoes is that comfortable as I expected in the beginning before I purchased the shoe. If I walk all day with these shoes, I don't think it's gonna be a good idea, even though they say there's boost in the midsole. As a New Yorker, you walk all day, you don't want to wear a heavy shoes. Because of the TPU transparent cage, that kind of reduced the performance on the boost technologies. The color is pretty nice uh, in my opinion, but I think a lot of people don't really appreciate this color that much. They are waiting for the black colorways. And I always have trouble when I style with the way shoes are colorful shoe um, because my entire class is Jordy or black clothes so it's kind of hard for me I like this colorway I, and I want to challenge myself to style with the thing that is make me uncomfortable before we get into those three looks let's get a closer up into the detail on the shoe so this is the close-up on the collaboration between Adidas and Pharrell, the NMD S1 Riot. Let's talk about the tooling because the tooling is actually make me the most exciting when I purchased the shoe. Um, this shoe give me some height actually, 2 inches height uh, because you see this is kind of very chunky also. And uh, this notch, the yellow and the blue is inspired by the original NMD. Yes, they got inspired from the original NMD, but this notch is actually is not functional compared to the original NMD. But aesthetic wise, it look pretty cool, you know, futuristic looking shoe. It look like jello, make me want to eat them. When you look at the top down view, it's even better looking detail. In the lateral size and in the medial size. The midsole on the shoe is has boost technology uh, covered by this TPU transparent cage around this boost technology in midsole. I think I don't feel that comfortable as I expected. I think because of this transparent TPU cover the boost technology so that's why it's kind of reduced the functionality of the boost technology on the midsole and in the back of the heel drag you can see there's a carving of the adidas branding and this also detail traction is really nice i love how they use tree foil to create the traction on this also that's pretty cool isn't it and you see all the holes right here right the preparation hole uh, first is reduce kind of the weight on this also and the second i think they are more like a marketing purposes um, to able for you to see there's a boost technology underneath this also let's go into the upper First, I love the color pink laces, reflective, um, pretty nice. And they come with uh, the extra laces, white color for you to choose. You know, if you're really into white, then yeah, you want tonal on this upper, then use this white. But to me, the pink color laces is good enough. I think it's more exciting when you look at the shoe, you know, a hit of the pink. And the most iconic detail on the shoes is this eye stay. The rubberized eye stay uh, over lace. Underlay is the pop color, the sky blue in the back and the yellow in the front. It match up with this color nut on the midsole. Even cooler that you can play around 
with this lacing system because the hole right here you can just insert the laces customize your own laces that is pretty cool because everybody have the different aesthetic so the shoes feel premium to me um, because the leather that they used on the van I stay and the heel counter feel like a heavy duty is pretty thick leather that they use on this and even the nylon material in the quarter and in the tongue is feel heavy duty you know with the embroidery of the heel branding from Pharrell and in the back they have a piece of like very pop color green webbing for the heel pole this green color I just feel like it's come out in the middle of nowhere you know it doesn't really go anywhere that form this color palette on the upper and the outsole but hey it's kind of cool you know go pretty good with the entire look you know with a pop of green and they have the mug guard all around because the shoes is inspired by the outdoor hiking shoe so that's why you see transparent mug guard all around and if you look it into the lining is full length leather on the tongue and um, on the top line they use leather around the collar very well padded feel comfortable and snug fit around my ankle when I wear the shoe and if you look into the insole the insole footbed is removable have a shape of the foot and the organ human body diagram that's pretty fun you know it's go pretty well with the theme human race and also the sizing on this is it fit to two size up next I'm gonna share with you guys how I would like to style them So there you have it. This is my quick sneaker review detail on the Pharrell and MD S1 Riot collaboration with Adidas. And as usual, I create three different looks to go with the shoe. I think the shoes is okay, but the pricing is a little bit pricey in my opinion. Um, like almost like $300 including tax. 
and it is worth it to purchase these shoes. I think it's kind of 50-50. This colorway is fun to be honest with you, but it's not really my type of colorways. I would like to skip this drop and wait for the black pairs. And what you think about all the looks that I create in this video. If you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.